everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm coming at you with a little review and swatch video on the new Carewise lip and eye pencils. These are brand spanking new. You would have just saw it in my What's New at Integrity Botanicals video and I think they just launched in the month of September so they are just brand new period and they are gorgeous. You know the second I hear the words Carewise I'm there. I love Carewise. I really, really do. I think that their products are fabulous, high quality. Packaging, I mean, is on another level. You get a mini sculpture with every piece, and uh, they're just fabulous. Despite the high price tag, I think they really do perform. So, so I have two shades of eye pencil to share with you, and I have two shades of lip pencil to share with you, and I'm gonna just run down the packaging and everything and price point really quick, and then I'm also going to demonstrate, um, because I'm wearing both items on my face right now. So this is a little bit of a first, a first impressions. Unfortunately, I didn't get the opportunity to try these a lot for you because you guys know I am based in Florida. Um, my mail got super duper lost and the video deadlines are still going. So I, um, I've had some for a little while now, so I can give you my opinion on that, but I will have an updated uh, opinion on the wear time in the description box down below, so please make sure you check that out. But formula, application, colors are all gonna be discussed in this video right here, right now, verbally. So like I said, let's start with eye pencils, I guess. We have two beautiful shades. As always, they come in the stunning Kierweiss red box. You know I can never get rid of these shade names right there on the top. We open it up and like, of course, you know they would be, they have like a little stand in there and then the pencil just comes right out so I always end up keeping my boxes I don't even tear that little that little seal right there I don't know I'm just funny about it and I mean have you ever seen a more beautiful eyeliner packaging nice and heavy with this nice metal piece at the top to run with the theme and these are just wooden pencils so you just pop the top off they're like this they come perfectly sharpened which I really appreciate but since they're wooden you do need to sharpen them yourself I do wish there was some sort of mechanism that had a sharpener on the end or that Kierweiss made one to sell. You'll just have to pick that up on your own time. You can usually get them at the drugstore, things like that. Um, but despite that, the packaging's stunning. We have a black and we have a brown. They're gonna run you 30 buckaroos, but as always, they are organic gluten-free, cruelty-free. These products are not vegan, however, and they are formulated with coconut oil. So since they are eyeliners and lip liners, I don't think that will be a problem for many of you. But whenever I hear that ingredient in an eyeliner, I'm kind of like, huh, until I swatch them because the, sw the formulation on these is beautiful. If you're familiar with the Antonym, the Antonym is a lot more glidey and smooth, but you'll see when I run the black one, let's start with the black on the back of my hand here. It's almost like a charcoal pencil, which I think is so fabulous. Reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners that are almost like a cream to powder formula. These definitely are a cream because you can sort of, you can see you can blend them away really easily, but not too easily. You do need to apply a little bit of force to get it there. I personally like to use the Kierweiss angled brush to do it. I think that's how Kirsten Kierweiss likes to do it as well. So the formula is very unique in that way. So you guys have seen the black. Let's quickly do the brown, and then I'll tell you how I like to apply it. Um, I did touch on that a little bit. Then, so we have the black eyeliner, and then we have the brown, and as always, it's exactly the same, nice and smooth, doesn't skip, has nice pigment, and builds up on itself really, really beautifully as well, and is creamy, but not like slippery butter, which is kind of nice. Um, so the brown is just a nice, true, deep, rich chocolate brown. That is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. And how I like to apply this is, you know, probably, I would probably call it my signature at this point because I do it on an almost everyday basis. I talk about it a lot on this channel in particular. Um, I like to take the eyeliner and I'll sort of hold it on the side. I like it nice and sharp as well. And I'll sort of just lay it down on the outer half of my eyelid. If you have more aging eyelids or having a, just like a wrinkle there, hooded eyelids, feel free to pull your, put your finger, like pull your eyelid taut and then look down and I'll allow you to really smudge into that base of the lash. But since these blend so beautifully, I then go in with my Kierweiss angled brush 
and I just sort of soften it out and this is the perfect thickness perfect sort of stiffness but not too stiff where it's moving the product and and you know making it skip around this just makes it nice and soft and gives that perfect amount of definition and then for the waterline I wanted to show you guys how the brown one applies to the waterline you can see like I said it's not one swipe of full-on pigment. I do sort of have to go back and forth, but I am not tugging at my eyes. I didn't even need to pull my it down with my finger, nothing. You can really just go back and forth nice and easy with these, which is fabulous. They are familiar with coconut oil though, so I am sort of waiting on the wear time. From what I can see on the swatches on the back of my hand, they don't particularly set, so I don't think um, in the waterline it's going to be an all-day wear, but they're almost more powdery on my eyelid, I think from the smudging that makes them a little bit more powdery and that I think is gonna last a lot longer. But like I said, I will have an update for you in that description box down below. So that is the black and the brown. Those are my initial thoughts on the liners. I mean, application wise, they're stunning. Now it's just gonna come down to the wear time. I've had it on for only like 30 minutes at the moment. And so far, so good, it's gorgeous. Now let's move on to the lip pencil too. Gorgeous shades. They are sort of similar, but definitely each have, your, have their purpose. These have the same exact packaging as the eyeliner, so nothing to really share that's new here. And we have the shade Rose, and we have the shade Mauve. And Rose is more of a... Formulation on these is exactly the same as the eyeliners. Um, they're nice. Actually, these might even be slightly creamier, which is nice because, again, the lip skin is so sensitive, often shows signs of wear. We don't want any pulling to happen at all, so these are buttery, smooth. You could definitely wear them like a lipstick if you wanted to fill your lips in entirely as well. But anyway, we have Rose. Rose is this stunning, light, baby pink shade. This is definitely for an everyday lip look. Really, really subtle. This is one that I could see myself wearing more around the entirety of my lips. Or if you can pull off the Keir Weiss lip shade in Honor, this would be a beautiful one to pair with it because it's just ever so slightly darker. We'll give you that sort of definition that you're looking for and a little bit of color. Um, I think it's cool tone without being too, too cool tone, meaning I could still get away with it. And you guys know I sort of struggle with that. So I'm really excited about that shade. I think it's really unique wearable, flattering, and this is the one that I think a lot of us are going to get use out of and it's definitely my favorite of the two. This is the shade Mauve. And I mean, she's pretty spot on with the names. This is basically just Rose's deeper, darker sister. Very, very similar to the Keir Weiss lipstick in Believe. I think there's a little bit of a theme there. They all sort of go with her lipsticks, but this shade is one that I think you can wear with a red lipstick if you just want to stop it from bleeding like just really get that sort of waxy finish around the edges you can wear this with Keir Weiss Believe today I'm wearing it with Gress's Bare just for a little bit and how I like to apply this I like this how I like to apply all lip liner but that since this has a nice creaminess to it it's really easy I'll start at the top of my lip really just sort of etch it out I sort of almost hold it at an angle to sort of It'll fill in a little bit more of your lip. You know, I don't like to use like the point of it because then it's like you feel like you have to be really steady and your lip line can get all wobbly. So I'll do the first half down. Then, since my the outer half of my lip is a lot more thin, those of you who don't have a pronounced lip line period or like me, it sort of fades away right here at the edge. I take the lip liner from that corner of my mouth and I pull it up and this will stop you from making your lips more narrow and it's also just a little bit easier in my opinion because you just go sort of straight up and then you can sort of fill in. So what I did today is I lined my lips, the bottom lip I always concentrate a little bit of color right down here at the center because that's how your lips can look a little bit more full, almost like a contour for the mouth and then I sort of just filled in the edges and tapped it in with Gressa Bear and I am in love with these. They do remind me a little bit of the Jane Iredale ones that I am so fond of where they they go on really smooth and easy but they aren't creamy to the point where it's like sliding off your lips and it's not keeping your lipstick on at all. It's a really nice in-between formula that does not tug and pull. So I think this is going to be the most long wearing lip liner in the world. Um, I don't but like I said I will have an update for you there in the description box down below. Lip liner is just something I use to prevent bleeding, give my lips a little bit more shape and it often does last a good amount of time but as I wipe my mouth this will come off as well if you have anything greasy. This will 
will come off as well, but due to that creamy formula, they are very easy to reapply, which I think is fabulous. So that is it, you guys. Those are the Cure Weiss lip and eye pencils in a nutshell. I wanted to break it down, show you how I like to apply it, and give you a little bit of swatches. No revolutionary colors here, but I think a really, really fabulous formula. And lip liners were missing on the Integrity Botanicals website, so I'm very happy to have them here. I say if you don't like the Antonym one, maybe give the Cure Weiss eye pencils a try. They're a little bit more stiff, but like I said, I'll have an update for you guys in the description box down below. But thank you so much for watching. If you want to shop these right here, right now, links will be in that description box down below, along with all of our social media. So please check us out over there. We're everywhere. And if you like me, you like this video, you love Cure Weiss, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I upload new videos here just about every single Monday and Friday, and I don't want you guys to miss some, but thank you so much for watching this video. I will have some other videos you can check out in that description box down below as well, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!